what we got here is a blank picture. But first, we're gonna find a picture. Let's see. I'm gonna show you the perfect way to take people's faces and put them on other people's faces. Because I mean, that's what everybody wants to do with Photoshop. They just want to mess around. So we're gonna do that. I'll show you about skin blending and colorized blending here in a second after I find the pictures black's face alright first we're gonna look at each picture and see what we can do jaw bones are different so we're gonna have to cut those out make them make it look like he's not just you know planted on his face so we're going to grab the quick selection tool. We're going to want to grab more than we need because we're going to need to do a little bit of blending. So you always got to take that into consideration. We're just going to cut it out and paste it on top of there by moving it. Now you can already see the differences and similarities between the pictures. There's definitely a difference in between skin tones. The face isn't turned the right way. So make it a little bit turned to the left. And then we're going to bring down the opacity. So we can make sure the lining up of the eyes and the nose are exactly the same. Because that's pretty good. The eyes are a pretty good match. The nose and the mouth is a complete match. So we're going to raise the opacity and see what we got. So it fits pretty good. Now we're going to go to press enter. And we'll start with some some levels. We're gonna mess with the levels until the face the faces match a, l a little bit better skin tone because he's a little bit too dark. So we're gonna have to brighten him up a little. Pretty good. Now we're gonna go to color balance. We're gonna add some pink in there because he's got a little bit of a pink face. Alright, now comes the blending. I like to make a quick layer mask. It's right here. Click that, and then you get your brush tool. Press B, and go up here, and I'm going to make it a large, soft brush. Alright, that should be good. Bring the opacity down about 60 to 50%. And just move parts that is unwanted, like the hair and the ears, and the jawbone. It's really, we don't really need it that much. Now the hard part's gonna be is getting his up perfectly so all his facial hairs are exposed. It's kind of hard to blend pictures with facial hair, but we're gonna give it a go see how it turns out I'm gonna go to curves new adjustment layer and then curves okay now brings everything down, makes it all dark. Or we can do the opposite with it. We can make everything bright. And then that blends it that way too. I think I'm just gonna not do that. Bring everything down a little bit. There we go, that looks looks pretty good. Okay. We're going to mess with his face a little bit more. Add some hue. There we go. 
So it's looking kind of pink. The facial features are matched perfectly. You can see the beard, and the hair. It's pretty good skin, and then it just took you know a little bit of cutting out, a little bit of masking, and there you go.